My name is Sandra Oh. I am an actor. I was uh, born and raised in a small town just outside of Ottawa, Canada, called Nepean, Ontario, and uh, I grew up there with my parents, uh, Korean immigrants, and my sister and my brother. And I came to acting, um, you know, I first started as a dancer. Um, I had little weird pigeon toes, and my mom thought ballet would straighten out my feet. Uh, which it did, uh, and so I started that quite young at about four and a half. But then I just uh, really fell in love with dancing, and I actually <laughs> kind of feel like I'm actually really a, a dancer, just kind of stumbling around in, in, like, in an actor's life. At the age of about eight or ten, uh, when you start auditioning for professional schools for ballet, I knew that I wasn't uh, good enough. I just knew I didn't have the ability. But at that time, around that time, my parents took me to Annie, to the musical Annie. I fell in love with seeing those girls on stage performing and it was like, what is that? And then I just, and I started acting. I'm really lucky, I feel like I knew at that very young age that I was, I did not have it to be a professional ballet dancer. But I knew I wanted to dance, I knew I wanted to perform. And at that critical time, I think that can happen in a young person's life between eight and 12, when that magic thing, you see what you want to do for the rest of your life, and you actually do it for the rest of your life. And I definitely think that is exactly what happened to me. Growing up, having Asian American role models, I mean, I know what you're asking me because you're, you're asking me, did I see what was reflected? But that wasn't the case, I don't think, in you know the 70s and 80s. But of course, my role models are my parents. You know, I think for uh, many of us, uh, we have very, very, very strong family ties and strong uh, role models. And that's a, such a positive thing and also a very tricky thing to navigate in our uh, experience as young people then individuating. For many of us, our ties to our parents is, is in, in also in ways that I sometimes I feel people who are outside of our community don't really understand the tremendous pressure. It's very interior. It's, 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 it's a, it can be a very binding pressure where you don't even know what, you're, what you actually want. Because the love and the loyalty of having to be, because you see the sacrifice and you see the hard work, you know what I mean? You want to give back because you love them. I'm the only one in my family who doesn't have a, I, I don't go to college, you know what I mean? They all have like master's degrees and stuff that they have education in, but I don't. So that was a real issue for them. But not only that, it's like going into the world of arts and, and entertainment. It was an unfamiliar world for them. And that took a, that took a bit of work, but it's, I've, I'm also really lucky. I've got great parents. Like, I've got great parents. My parents love me. And so when I was able to show them, and I was also very lucky, I was able to show them pieces of work that when they saw, uh, they could see that um, it was adding to society. Well, I'm looking at the change that I'm seeing with all these very handsome young men behind the camera. Like when I started, this was not happening. I was not talking to you. We did not have a campaign to out to outreach to people, just to say a little bit more about ourselves and to share. So that's a change. There has been a lot that has not changed. Uh, and that is, I don't want it to sound so heavy um, because I, I've, I've, I feel like I've learned that change is slow. And that's okay. That's okay. Because every day the change really has to happen in a much deeper interior kind of way. You know, it's not just about suddenly that we have our Black Panther. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because like, I know there's like, I, you know, Asian and all other, other, other groups are like, well, we want our Black Panther. And absolutely, however it's going to be authentically for us, it will come. Until that day, each of us individually, I feel have to work on what that means to us and be practicing that every day. So that's the change that I also feel that I've 
uh, being, being able to track within the change in myself. I, of course, have also, I mean, I'm in this business, right? Struggled at, at, at trying to find, trying to build up representation of our community. I mean, that's a big reason and, and sense of purpose of why I do what I do. But you cannot, um, it's just suffering waiting for, for it to happen with someone else. For waiting for the larger structure, to wait for that structure to change. It's um, because it's like, there's sometimes I thought like Hollywood is like a, just like a bad boyfriend. It's just like, why are you waiting for him to text you? He really doesn't want to call you back. So why don't you just go out with your girlfriends or on your own, get a glass of wine, get a good book, go out dancing on your own and have a good time. I, I don't mean to be flip about that. I actually do believe in stopping the dependence for the reflection to happen outside of yourself and it, how it has to happen within ourselves and within our own community.